You may have heard Lexus makes some pretty good cars. This is the first one to get an F. That's not a failing grade. A Lexus IS with this letter means fast, fun, and ferocious. Put your foot in it, and you get that great un Lexus like sound. Nice though. Oh, look at the speed. That's easy to lose track of because the smallest Lexus sedan gets their most powerful engine, a 416 horsepower 5 liter V8. Why does Lexus feel the need to build the ISF? Well, maybe peer pressure. Audi has the RS4, BMW, of course, the legendary M3, plus there's the Mercedes C63 AMG and the new Cadillac CTS V. This is a pretty fast crowd. There's added vents and bulges and Brembo performance brakes. These hint that the ISF is not a normal Lexus. The trademark creamy ride is swapped for one that's very stiff. Every bump is felt. That suspension is good for cornering, though. Sticky tires, rear wheel drive, and an adjustable electronic stability system make ISF a driver's car. Finding its lofty performance limits on public streets is not wise. Move to a track for that. The eight-speed auto tranny provides rapid, confident shifts. Paddles offer up manual control. With zero to 60 times around four and a half seconds, ISF will keep up with the competition in both acceleration and right now braking. Here's the best gas mileage I could muster up, the ISF Chugs Premium. The cabin uses high quality materials, but the overall ambiance is plain compared to Audi, Mercedes, and Cadillac. All the expected electronics are here, so are unexpected knee airbags. The leather chairs are great, but uh, can you use them after Labor Day? In the back, the seats are sculpted for only two passengers. An average size guy like me will just fit. Not an awful lot of foot room though. And it's a little tight getting my size 11s in and out here. Six packs is what the average mid-size sedan trunk will hold. The back seats don't fold forward, so five packs is the maximum for the ISF. These hinge arms keep things a little tighter. The serene Lexus image might hold this car back, but horsepower doesn't. At 61,400 bucks as tested, ISF is not inexpensive, neither is the competition. Being the new kid in school, the F manages to score high marks. A few things before I sign off. This sport mode button alters steering weight, throttle response, transmission shift points, and the amount of stability control, but not suspension. That is fixed in the ISF. Want to really see what the engine looks like? Well, let's take the shroud off. Not all that pretty, is it? Now you know one of the reasons why they have them. This V8 is a highly modified version of the 4.6 liter found in the big LS, so is the rapid fire eight speed transmission. Many people wanna know how this F stacks up against the M3. Uh, let me level with you. I don't test these cars on a track at 10 tenths mode. All of the cars in this class have heroic abilities. Most drivers will never come close to exploring their limits, especially on public roads. For those of you who intend to run their cars on track day, check with the buff books for their full on closed course reviews. That's my opinion on the Lexus ISF. If you want a longer written review, go to the website, www.nwcn.com autos. If you've got a question about this car or any others, just give me a shout. There's a link to my email there. That's Drive. I'm Tom Volk.